Hi there, Ben here, back with another Speedster tutorial. And uh, this time we won't limit ourselves to just one scale. We'll actually play a mix of a few scales, mainly the Dorian scale and the blue scale, uh, with a few uh, added passing notes. And um, this creates a less predictable sound, and it also gives us uh, more comfortable uh, fingerings to use when we play fast. And just like in the other Speedster tutorials, these licks will sound the best if we play them really fast, but they are very useful as exercises. If your technique is not quite there yet, just play them slowly with a metronome and they are great for uh, building speed and finger strength and just general technique. There's always something you can pick up on in each one of these licks. If it's just a small picking technique or a small little phrase, Everything uh, can be really useful and uh, just use the speed building tracks at the end of the tutorial and uh, gradually build your speed up. Okay, so what do I mean with a mixed scale? This isn't something you'll find on a guitar book under the mixed scale. Um, this is rather a convenient thing and uh, also uh, a sound thing to um, sound less predictable. Uh, sometimes when you just stick to one scale, uh, it has a very distinct sound and people can instantly hear, oh, he's just playing the Dorian scale up and down really fast, or he's just playing the natural minor scale. Um, so what I do here is I um, tend to mix the most uh, useful parts of a few different scales. Uh, mainly the Dorian scale and the blues scale, all right? Uh, you might know the Dorian scale, this one in A. All right, and the A blues scale, right? All right, so if we uh, put these two together here, for example, on these uh, top three strings, we can get this, right? From the blues scale. And uh, that from the Dorian scale. So now we end up with three strings where we can play identical fingerings, right? Really good for fast playing and it sounds good too. And um, on the lower strings, I like to play this uh, a lot of the time. So I start with uh, these three notes. This uh, would be from the Dorian scale and then from the blue scale. Right, flat five, and then uh, a lot of times I would play this, um, just flat seven and the major seven and the root. Then we end up with a, kind of a mixed scale that can look something like this. All right, and as you can see, it's not even the same in all of the octaves because here we're playing the nine, right, or the uh, second. Blues. But here, we're actually skipping the nine. Go straight to the blues scale. And here we're playing the Dorian note, the major sixth, uh, which we skipped down here. And of course, you can play it like this as well. Now I'm playing this from the Dorian scale. And this too. You can play four notes here. endless possibilities. But the main idea here is to uh, create a little bit of a different sound, a mixed sound, and also easy fingerings for fast playing, uh, especially this part right here. Incredibly useful for all kinds of situations. Because you only have to learn one fingering. All right, let's move on to the licks. Okay, I used the classic shred pattern here in this first lick, uh, shredding up uh, one of the mixed scale patterns I showed in the previous lesson. 
So we're going to use this one here in B around the seventh fret. Right? So that's a mix of uh, the Dorian scale and the blue scale with also the major seven added. It's a passing note. Okay? And um, the picking. The way I usually pick these kind of kinds of licks. Start with a downstroke, two hammer-ons, up, down up. Right? And then again, pick and two hammer-ons. And then up, down, up. On the A string, right? Okay, so that's the picking pattern. And we're just going to use that uh, down the strings. Okay, and then we start here. And we start here. Start on the G string. And then on that B note and a little cool double stop bend right there. And um, of course, you uh, might not want to use this entire lick, but uh, just small pieces of this lick um, are very useful in all kinds of shreddy playing especially down here, right? Okay, this next lick uh, contains a really useful uh, sequence-like uh, pattern. Well, this is what I played slowly. Okay, so we're using the mix between the Dorian scale and the blue scale here. And I'm using a lot of uh, pull-offs, a lot of uh, legato. So I'll just start pulling off. All right, pick and pull off. And then a down four notes, and then up one. All right. Start with that. Okay, and then we go down to the flat five. Okay, and then. Okay, just that part is very useful uh, when you want to get a little bit more out of the scale instead of just uh, playing it just straight down. I use that all the time and that's very useful in uh, jazz and uh, funk and all kinds of uh, styles of music. Okay, and then we continue like this. go up to the flat five and play it here instead of here. And I ended with a 16th note triplet here. Okay. Okay. Very useful. This next lick is actually a variation of the third lick in the blues scale speedster tutorial. And I'm playing this up here in, in D around the 10th fret. And uh, this is the general pattern, right? Four notes on the higher string and then two on the next. 
uh, the blue scale lick was this one, right? Uh, from the blue scale. But here, since we're using the Dorian scale as well, we can play that exact same thing on the E string and the B string as well. So we start like this, right? Twice and then four extra notes. Okay, exact same thing, but starting on the B string, right? Okay, then we start on the G string. Okay, and just twice and then down. And then flat five. And I landed on that D note. So this uh, sounds a little bit meaner than playing uh, the, just the pentatonic. Now I'm playing. Right, very cool lick, especially at very fast tempos. And as you can see, I'm picking everything here. It's cool if it sounds very aggressive. Okay, this lick is a little bit more jazzy, and uh, we're playing uh, this in, in B here, but, but of course these uh, techniques are useful in any style of music. The main thing here is uh, the slides, right? So I'm playing up the, the mixed scale here, Dorian and the blue scale with the major seven added. Okay, so I'm starting on the flat five, and then instead of hammer-ons, I'm sliding a lot. You get a different sound when you use slides instead of hammer-ons. And I'm playing this using 16th note triplets, so it's triplet, 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 triplet. Okay. So I'm going up the scale here. Start from the flat five. Then. And then I'm going up the scale on one string. Right? Slide from the ninth to the tenth. And then I'll play the ninth again. And I'll slide from ten to twelve. Play the tenth. And then up to the flat five. Right? And then I ended this lick with a, kind of a blues phrase. Right? Bend up from F sharp here. Down the blues scale. Right? Three and four and. So that's a pretty cool way to play up the scale. And it looks cool too. Okay, so here's more of a rhythmic lick that might fit in a funk context or an acid jazz context. But of course, also when you play rock, everything works in rock, right? And we're playing with a pretty heavy swing feel here. So I'm starting with these uh, double stops, right? Just the bar. And since we're using the blue scale, we play that and this note from the Doran scale, right? Sounds pretty cool. And then I'm doing a very common thing in blues and uh, more funky acid jazz style playing. So you start on the four, we're in C here, and you slide up really quickly to the flat five and back and pull off. And then you can hammer on again. 
and pull off again. Go down to the root. It can be a bit tricky at first to do it that fast, so practice slowly. And uh, then the cool thing about the Dorian scale is you can find all kinds of uh, little arpeggios here. Now we're actually going to use this pattern. The standard Dorian scale pattern. And uh, what we will find here, for example, is this uh, G minor arpeggio within the Doran scale, right? And if you just move this to the next set of strings, we'll find the D minor arpeggio. D, F, A, or G, B flat, D. Okay, so what I did here, Slide down from the minor third of the C, the E flat, down to uh, D. Down the arpeggio, same thing here. And simply gives it that kind of a jazzy funk feeling, right? And then I did this. From the blue scale. And four and okay, and then I ended with that same thing, just an octave down twice on the roots. So that sounds pretty cool, I think. We're mixing the blues scale with arpeggios from the Dorian scale. Okay, so just like in the blue scale speedster tutorial, let's end this tutorial with a long bluegrass lick. This time using a few more notes uh, from the blue scale and the Dorian scale. All right, so I started off this lick with uh, this uh, cool double stop. Uh, so you just grab this, right? The G note, we're in G here again, the bluegrass key, and um, flat five and the root, G, and then hammer on, instant bluegrass. So that twice, right? And then uh, down the blue scale, up, and then I did two fast notes here, pull off. And now we can use this note, right? On the Dorian scale, land on that F note. All right, start with that. Okay, and then we go slide into the G and play the open G string after that. Okay. And then we do a variation of this uh, open G string lick that I did in the previous tutorial, but now we're going down here from the flat five. Okay, all the way down here to the nine. And then these uh, triplet pull-offs, just three, two, open string on both strings. Okay. All right, and the next part, I'm gonna start with a slide in from the major seven to the root notes and then the open G string and play that twice and pull off from the F to the open G string. Okay, and then next time just once, pull off right away. Using the Dorian note here, the E, major six of G. Okay. All right, 
That's the third part. And the final part of the lick looks like this. We start by sliding into the fifth from the flat five. And then playing the open D string and then the fretted D again. This is something you do a lot in bluegrass, alternating between a fretted note and the open string, the same note. And then pull off. Landing on that G note. Okay, so the first part. Right? Second part. Third part. And the final part. So that's a long lick, but just like in the previous tutorial, each uh, part here is very useful on its own. So if you can't get the whole lick at first, uh, you can use just parts of it. And that sounds really good in uh, bluegrass, rock, blues, funk, and metal playing. Have fun with that one. All right, I really hope you've learned some very useful techniques and that you're inspired to create your own licks based on all of these uh, ideas here. And uh, just like always, practice in all tempos, all keys, all over the neck, and using different rhythms. And um, as usual, you'll find speed building tracks below here, so you can start really slowly and gradually build your speed up. It's been fun. Practice hard.